Over a decade ago, Iran claimed rolling out its fifth-generation Kahir 313 stealth fighter jet, projected as the country's most advanced warplane. An Iranian defense ministry now says the country is ready to convert this stealth fighter into an unmanned aerial vehicle. The managing director of the Iran Aviation Industries Organization, a subsidiary of the Defense Ministry, said on television that the Kahir fighter jet project had reached full technological maturity, Tasneem News Agency reported. General Afshan Kajefard announced in his address that the Defense Ministry is focusing on the diversity of the finished product, emphasizing that the Kahir fighter jet will eventually become a pilotless aircraft. The announcement comes after the extensive deployment of Iran's Shahed-class kamikaze drones in Ukraine which have successfully struck Kyiv's energy and military infrastructure. In addition, Iran has ramped up its UAV industry in recent years, a feat that it takes great pride in. The Iranian official also stated that in the next Iranian year, which starts on March 21, the country would introduce several Kahir iterations. He highlighted in his speech that the defense ministry had modified the stealth aircraft. The announcement is ambitious as the country still operates a fleet of American F-14 Tomcats, F-5 Tigers, and F-4 Phantoms which are at least four decades old, in addition to the MiG-29 purchased from Moscow in the 1990s. Iran's fighter jet fleet has been aging rapidly, which it has been able to maintain without U.S. assistance. However, despite the strides made in domestic military manufacturing and maintenance of old aircraft, Doubts have been cast on Tehran's ability to produce a stealth aircraft of the fifth generation indigenously. Western military commentators have gone so far as to say that the country unveiled the stealth aircraft to compensate for its outdated fighter fleet and was merely a propaganda exercise. However, despite the global skepticism and dismissal of its homegrown stealth aircraft, Iran has continued to work on the program and decided to convert the small airframe into a drone instead which comes against the backdrop of a burgeoning UAV manufacturing capability and global interest in its combat UAVs.